Pakistan, uh, from Broward County, uh, son of a physical therapist and an engineer. Uh, mom's from Haiti, so I got some, you know, Caribbean flavor in me. Hey, sac passe. Shake my hand from a distance. <laughs> um, and I make happy reps. Yeah. So, so, happy reps. So, <clears throat> congrats on the recent 200K plays on Girls Love Cookies. What did you have in mind when you were creating this four track teaser? Uh, well, I wanted to create a project for, because I realized I got a lot of like dude fans. So I wanted to like create a project that they can listen to with their girlfriend. Okay. Yeah. That's so, a dope like, idea. Or like chill vibe love songs in like my style. Okay. Yeah. Um, your style of rap gives us quick little teasers for songs. Like, your songs are usually under two minutes, right? Short and sweet. Short and sweet how I like it, right? <laughs> um, are we going to get some longer tracks possibly on Happy Raps too? Um, there's, who knows? Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. I got some long songs. Long for Sam. <laughs> but yeah, depending on the vibe, really, that's all it is. Dope. So, talking about that vibe, you call yourself a happy rapper. What is that? Um, I don't know. I'm just doing me. All I can do is just be myself, you feel me? So, people kind of like placed that title on me and I took it and ran with it. Mm. I mean, so, no, not, I, I like it though. You like happy it? Rappers. Yeah. Like, because you have like a happier sound to your raps. Yeah. For sure. Um, how do you maintain that positivity? And a rap full of wannabe gangsters, mumble rappers. How do you do that? Because you never, you're never really dogging a bitch. You're never really like I'm talking all really wild. Like, you're usually like chilling, like coffee for two. <laughs> all right. So like my thing is hip hop. Like the golden era of hip hop is all about authenticity. So like the only person I could be is myself. No matter like my influences and etc. Like. I can only be me. So through that, it's gonna bleed into the music. So no matter what homie's doing on this blog, homie's doing on that side of the internet, I'm just gonna do me, mm -hmm. do it all, do everything. So I'm not really trying to compete with anyone else. I'm just trying to be myself. Just let the people consume the music. That's what's up. Now you talked about the golden age of rap. Yeah. What is that golden age for you? Well, all right, the gold, when I talk about like the golden era, like general consensus, it's the 90s. Okay. All right. But I'm not, who's to say we're not in the golden era right now? Are we in the golden era, Sam? I'm, all right, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. I have a theory. It's like there's so many people in the world right now that may not be a fan of rap music, but they have a favorite rapper. That's right. because rap has become pop culture, though. Right. So, so it's more diverse now. For example, you can have, like, my mom. Shout out to Mama Stan. Hey, who, shout out to Mom. Who doesn't like hip-hop like that, but I can find her on a random day, bumping chance. You feel me? Yeah. So, since there's so much, like, talent out there, even though there's a lot of, you know, trash, but there's some gold out there. Like, it's like, you can have a Chance, you can have a Cole, you can have a Kendrick. But what about our Uzi Verts and Trippy Reds and what about, others? Because <laughs> hey, you name real dynamic rappers, but you're not naming the little six nines and other shit. Come on. Is he hip hop? I don't cause I don't know what to say. <laughs> you feel me? I don't know. I don't know what the mumble I rap, mean, where to place them yet. All right, my thing for mumble rap. Shout out to my boy Foggy Raw. <laughs> He's like the smoothest mumble rapper on earth. So let's hope for mumble rap. Okay. Maybe Foggy Raw will be our, our next hope, yeah. our next pioneer. Shout out to Mumble Rap, I guess. <laughs> so, we were talking about like the golden era and influences and everything. Who influences you? What rappers, artists, musicians have influenced Sam Stan? All right, so I'll say the first artist to change my life and make me appreciate hip hop was Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne's a, a killer, or used to be. <laughs> Um, and then, as a matter of fact, let me take it back. First person to make me appreciate hip-hop was this battle rapper named Jin. I liked battle rap at one point, like, mm -hmm. 
the early days. I still like it now. But um, Jin to Lil Wayne, No Ceilings mixtape, and to uh, J. Cole. Those are like the, J. Cole might be the first artist to shift the way I made music. And yeah, so Jin, Wayne, Cole. And then when it comes to like my style today, it's heavily influenced by a West Coast legend, Dom Kennedy. Dang. I rock with him. Heavy. Dang. Okay, so I guess to continue with that, how would you say rap has made an influence in your life? Um, well, like, what were you doing before you were doing this rap shit, or before you decided you wanted to do this rap shit? I was playing soccer. Really? <laughs> I'm a soccer player. People don't really know that. It's I really didn't really know what position. Better. You know, I play goalie, so. Center mid, I would have scored oh, on you. Fuck mid, yo. <laughs> I scored on you. Never, never, yeah. not well, my hands. Well, my is like, um, soccer consumed all of my time from, like, eight years old all the way to, like, 17, 18, because it's like, yo, you practice four to five times out the week. Mm -hmm. I'm bugging. Three to four times out the week, maybe, and then tournaments on the weekend, et cetera. So it was just like, you know, social life, just soccer, soccer, soccer. I thought I was going to be a pro soccer player. Really? And then I got hurt, and then I'm like, hold up. It's just as hard to be a pro soccer player as it is to be a rapper. So I'm a rapper. Hey. Yeah. And so, yeah. Soccer gave yeah. us Sam. Sam, that's crazy. Um, sorry. So, um, you know, a lot of students or kids are out here trying to be creatives like you are. What advice would you give them? Um, the first thing I would say is find your sound and then build a brand because it's like, one, there's like 90 rappers on your block right now, I promise you. So like, what's the difference between you and them? They're probably just as talented as you are, but what separates the pack is branding you know i mean what can like what can you get the people that they can that's uh, my advice okay so everyone's been waiting on happy raps too i know about every interview has asked you this question when are we getting it sam like we need to know the people need to know this is an exclusive an exclusive 2018. 2018? <laughs> Bet. If, as long as we get it before January 1st, 2019, I think we should have no problem. Yes, 2018. Facts. Okay. I'm working on it. Bet. Now, I heard you have a tour coming up soon. Yeah. What's happening? Where are you going? Where can um, we find you? Shout out to Caleb Mitchell out of Jersey. Um, the Halfway There Tour. We're touching Miami, Atlanta, Oklahoma City, Austin, Kansas City. That's all I can remember off top. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna hit the road. I'm gonna do some happy raps for the people. You feel me? We'll be really rocking. Hey, it's gonna you know? be lit. Yeah. I'm excited. Um, is there anything else you wanna leave for the Create and Clout series? Any upcoming projects we should be looking out for? Oh, we already know about the tour. Happy raps too. Coming soon. Coming soon. That's what I wanna hear. Yeah. Yeah. College, I know it, that's true. Huh. I'ma be homeless soon, let's go get coffee for two.